Hello everybody, I'm Chris Olds. This is Reed Casaoka of the Baseball Card Exchange, and we're here with a, yet another, or a return of, Ripping Retail Retro. Up, up, time, up, up, dip, 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 up for grabs this week, 1979 Topps Baseball. Now this says 55 a pack. Is that an active price or in the ballpark price that you're aware of? I think it's much higher now. Higher, because like, that one of the things I was going to ask you is, it almost seems like 80s wax is getting expensive now. It is, and it's definitely carried over to the 70s. Mm -hmm. it's an unopened product is just on fire lately. So I was lucky enough to get uh, my boss to give I'm up. Not a, used to the East. Give up a couple packs to yeah. uh, let us open. So this is the home of the Ozzy Smith rookie card primarily. Uh, we're looking at 12 cards per pack. Can you give them the rundown on what to look for, like for seals and the uh, safety measures for inspection? Sure. When you look in the uh, vintage packs, the first thing you want to do is look at the seal. And when you look at the seal, what you want to see is a uh, is with the hot roller mark that went right over kind the wax. Kind of consistent. Kind of melted together. So it's going to look yeah, shiny, dull, and shiny. And that's where you can see the mark went over it. So it's like a little... You can see a little bit of darkness on this one. I can't get close enough because we're yeah. doing a little different here. But you can see a little bit, like a little bit of black on there. Yeah. So it's like these two <laughs> little lines. So the, the, the pack isn't actually sealed all the way across. Just in the it's middle. just in the middle. And then you okay. want to look, if this will show up on the camera too, you look at the corner folds. Yep. Make sure they're tight. A resealed pack, it's very tough to refold those corners correctly. And obviously tears and such also. Now... Yep. Baseball Card Exchange is pretty much the leading vintage pack dealer out there as far as I'm concerned. So these guys are, you know, they inspect boxes. I remember at the National four or five years ago, you guys were buying an 86 Fleer basketball box, which I need, what is it now, 30 grand per buying price? Uh, 26 grand, yeah, something like that? I think, this, I think our sale price now is in the 30 to $35,000 range. Back in the day, it was only nine, yeah. but uh, they were inspecting the box to make sure it wasn't tampered with right there on the show floor at the National. So here... Here is uh, 79 tops. We'll go ahead and tear in. I'm sure we'll have a little more uh, vintage chat on some of these other videos. We're gonna do 10 weeks or 10 different sequences. I don't know if I'll do them weekly or a couple times a week. Um, I would not recommend eating the gum, although I don't think this one's, uh, just kidding. I don't think it's that bad. But uh, here we go. It didn't even break when you dropped it. All right, I'll, I'll go, let's just go pack by pack. Let me see if I, uh, okay. First off on the back, I have the Houston Astros team card. We're doing this a little backwards here, so I'll, I'll be a little awkward getting my uh, cards shown. Bob Shirley. Ah, there we go. Everything's backwards because we're doing this via the viewfinder. Randy Stein. Dave Rader and Al Bumbry. I feel like I'm crooked on the camera here. This is not the Padre we were looking for, but close enough or not, not close enough, not Ozzie Smith, Jerry Turner and Denny Martinez. Actually, Denny Martinez might be a rookie card, or maybe not, but it's earlier years. Rico Cardi and Ron Jackson. Hal McCray and Dave L. and Joel Youngblood. I'm not going to even try to say the old-timer's name there. Okay, Whew. i got to hold to the camera, not the viewfinder. That was what was messing me up. I couldn't figure it out there. So the cards are pretty clean. They are. The centering's pretty good. The wax card. Gem SM. And obviously commons that are very, very high grade can Paul sell Mitchell. quite well. The other guy in the Nolan Ryan card? Jerry, Jerry Kuzman. Kuzman. Yeah. Bruce Boyce Claire. Actually these I have two cards. Tony Armas. Two cards here that could actually grade out pretty well. Got this one, Bill Madlock, pretty nice centering. Yeah, the centering is always the toughest part on these. Hoskin Powell. And then back in the day, you have things like card zits and Pirates rough cuts. Card. Mike Vale. And the last ones here. Sylvia Martinez, Bob Montgomery, and uh, a, a sword card. Two card. There you go. Yeah. So this is a uh, this is a uh, kind of a high risk, high reward kind of a situation. For 55 bucks a pack or higher, um, you're looking for that key card in that kind of fresh condition because overall I think the Ozzy Smith is the only card in the set that actually tops that raw right um, so so it, do you find a lot of like wheeler and dealer types buying single packs or is it a more casual group or uh, maybe when, both I think when packs get to this kind of price and the, the there's a high upside for graded cards and mm -hmm. for tens 
it's not just the casual collector anymore. It's, yeah. it's the person who, who knows that there's going to be a lot of upside. Pretty solid. That if they're going to open it, they're really gambling mm -hmm. that they're going to end up with, you know, two bucks in commons. It could happen. Or, definitely. you know, a $500 10. Exactly. And actually, because of registries out there, I mean, a high grade Joe Youngblood could still get you 20, 30 bucks if it's a nine or 10 type car. Exactly. So obviously this one was the wax stain, so not the best example, but uh, that's how it rolls. It's a little more a little more higher stakes gambling than the original, what were they, like 35 cents or not even 25 I think cents a pack? 20, 25 cents a pack, right. Yeah, so that was our first Rip and Retail Retro video, 1979 Tops. We're gonna have several more here coming soon and I'll be wearing the same blue shirt in all of them because we're filming them all on the same day. So until next time, I'm Chris, this is Reed, just keep ripping.